Hi everyone, welcome to the life cycle assessment of contact lenses. In this video, we will cover on the introduction of contact lenses, the life cycle of contact lenses, the environmental impacts of contact lenses and the conclusion. So let's take a look guys. The introduction will cover on what is contact lenses, types of contact lenses, the use of contact lenses and some of the brand examples of contact lenses. The use of contact lenses is very common and constitutes a profitable industry. The size of the global market of contact lenses is expected to reach 12,476.3 million US dollars by 2020, at a growth rate of 6.7%. Contact lenses is a visual device used for corrective, cosmetic, and therapeutic purposes by providing an artificial anterior refracting surface to the human eye. Contact lens materials are typically based on polymer or silicone hydrogel, with additional manufacturing technologies employed to produce the final lens. There are two types of contact lenses which is soft contact lens and hard contact lens. Soft contact lens is easier to adapt, more comfortable, disposable options available and easier to fit and adjust lenses. As for hard contact lens, it provides clearer vision, very durable, suitable for high spectacle power and less drying. There are a few uses of contact lenses. Firstly, it functioning as a corrector of refractive error that cannot be addressed by spectacles such as aphakia, keratoconus, irregular cornea, and high anisometropia. Secondly, it provide better appearance and less restriction in activities especially for sport activities. Thirdly, it functioning as devices that can correct presbyopia, control the development of myopia or be used for augmented vision. And lastly, contact lenses can be prescribed for the management of dry eye in Stevens-Johnson syndrome or Chagrin syndrome, post-refractive surgery rehabilitation, and persistent epithelial defect. As we can see, there are a few examples of brand for contact lenses such as Akuva, Biotra, Dailies, Clarity One Day, and Precision One. The Life Cycle of Contact Lenses There are six stages of life cycle for contact lenses. Firstly, it started with acquire materials. Secondly is manufacturing and processing. Thirdly is distribution and transportation. Fourthly is reuse, use, and maintenance. Fifthly is recycling and lastly is waste management. Firstly, we need to acquire or make the materials needed, which are hydrogel and silicone. Hydrogels made out of hydrophilic monomers or out of polymers that are either synthetic or natural while silicon is found in sand and when extracted and passed through hydrocarbons then silicone is made and formed. Other raw materials are the materials used to make the packaging like cardboard, plastic foil, aluminum foil and saline solution in which the contact lenses are encased in. Secondly is manufacturing, processing, and overall formulation of the product. Contact lenses can be made in various ways, by cast molding, spin casting and lathe cutting. The most used type of manufacturing for contact lenses is cast molding, also known as injection molding. The silicone hydrogen is first injected under pressure into the molds, then extracted and cooled before being inspected for damage. All of this is accomplished via computer-assisted technologies, Woodward. A more common type of manufacturing for contact lenses is spin casting. It uses centrifugal force to form the base curve of the lens and the front curve is formed by the curvature of the mold. The silicone hydrogels are then exposed to ultraviolet light to harden or solidify before being taken from the mold and hydrated in a sterile water bath. The least common type of contact lens manufacturing is the lathe cutting method. When the silicone hydrogel is mounted on a small rotating mount, machines cut, remove any excess material from the lens then lastly polished and double checked to ensure that they are safe for usage by consumers. Thirdly, the distribution and transportation of the contact lenses. Contact lenses are most commonly transported by plane or truck, both of which rely on natural resources such as jet fuel, gasoline, or diesel. Fourthly, the use, reuse, and maintenance of the contact lenses. Before putting out the contact lenses, we should wash our hands. Then dry the hands with towel. Next remove the contact lens and clean it with a solution. 
After that, rinse the contact lens with a solution once more and lastly place the lens in lens case with new solution. We can choose between disposable contact lenses which can last from one use or extended wear contact lenses, which can be worn several times within a span of two weeks. Next is recycling. Contact cases and solution bottles can be recycled through some curbside programs, which turn the plastics into objects such as battery cables, brooms, brushes, or signal lights. In order to recycle these products, they must be melted at 173 degrees Celsius before being poured into a mold that will turn it into another product. Unused contact lenses that have not expired can be recycled by returning them to the manufacturer and let them redistribute it. Lastly, the waste management. Contact lenses can be incinerated but if they are not burned at a high enough temperature, then toxic gases such as carbon dioxide are produced, which contribute to the growing global warming epidemic we are facing. If they are not incinerated, these polymers have the capacity to sit in landfills for a very long time which can be longer than any human life. Environmental Impact of Contact Lenses Waste generated through the use of contact lens products by the end consumer. Consumers' use of contact lens products comprises 0.5% of total environmental waste and each contact lens weighs 30 micrograms. Rolski discovered that among more than 400 contact lens wearers surveyed, 19% discard their contact lenses into the toilet or sink. Threat to aquatic life. Contact lens are denser than water, they sink, posing a threat to aquatic species who may consume the contact lens. Microplastics can be mistaken for food by aquatic organisms, and because plastics are indigestible, this has a significant impact on the digestive systems of marine animals. Plastic pollution. Most plastic waste from the contact lenses themselves and their packaging end up in the ocean or in landfill. As they go through sewage systems, contact lenses break down into smaller particles and ultimately form microplastics which pollute the oceans. Contact lenses are transparent, which makes them difficult to observe in the wastewater treatment plant. Contact lenses are instead frequently made with a combination of poly, methyl methacrylate, silicons and fluoropolymers to create a softer material that allows oxygen to pass through the lens to the eye. These differences make processing contact lenses in wastewater plants a challenge. Conclusion Contact lenses provide a safe and effective way to correct vision when used with care and proper. The best solutions that can benefit many parties including the wearer, practitioner, and environment should be found in order to reduce the environmental impact. That's all from me, thank you, and happy watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe this video.